It all started at a party. Just a simple party. I didn't expect anything bad to come from it. Just a little bit of fun. I mean, it's just beer, right? Well, I was wrong. I couldn't stop drinking. And my friends tried to tell me to stop. But we just fought. All we did was fight. Look at that. I'm not even out of my parents' house yet. And I'm already ruining my life. This had to stop. But one night, I was driving home. I was drunk. And I crashed. Nobody died. But imagine if I did though. Everybody that cared about me would have been devastated. But I survived. I survived. I'm Nick. And I survived alcohol. But not everyone does. Underage drinking, you might want to define it as uh, anybody who drinks under the legal age of 21 that would be underage drinking. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning which it involves and interferes with the nervous central, uh, central nervous system, uh, interferes with your reactions, it delays your ability to recognize threats and or danger. So it basically puts you into a state of euphoria where you can sleep or relax. So if something does happen, you don't recognize it fast enough to respond or react to it. They would have begin to encounter some social problems, such as not getting along with their peers, fighting, um, not being able to handle social situations that they get into. If you're caught drinking underage, you could do jail time as a, as a, a suspect. You can lose your driving privileges if the judge has given you your privileges or take them away from you. The judge can put you on active or inactive probation. Your mom and dad can be sued civilly. Parents can lose their home. Parents can have their uh, paychecks, or part of the revenue taken from them on payroll. Uh, other problems that are associated with underage drinking, most kids don't think about it. It's an in inhibitory drug. You do things under the influence of alcohol that you normally wouldn't do, okay? Dance on tables. These kids, especially under the, under the age of 21, uh, can't handle the alcohol, but yet every day we have kids uh, under the age of 21 that are, are driving cars under the influence of alcohol. Uh, then they get involved in auto accidents that cause injuries or death to other people or to themselves. We need to continue the education. We need to put the word out there uh, about, number one, it's unlawful. It, it's illegal. If you're under 21, you can't drink. Then we need to spread the word about the damage that it does to the body. Kids believe that they're invincible. They don't think that it's damaging their liver, their kidneys, their brain development. Okay? Uh, they just don't think about that kind of stuff. So continue the hardcore education. Tell the stories about what's happened. Let them see the pictures. It's going to take a community-based effort to do that. It's not a, a one-step type thing. Uh, it's going to take a, an entire community to, to help combat this problem. Since I've been a police officer, I have uh, knocked on two parents' doors telling them that their, ch their children will not come home because they died in a traffic crash where they had been drinking. So the significance is great losing lives daily to an alcohol-related offense, which you could have been avoided.